Indonesian forces left houses burnt to the ground and residents traumatised in the West Papuan district of Nduga. Local officials say up to 45,000 people have been displaced. People were murdered, they got arrested, then tortured and forced to dig a hole so when they got killed they would be hidden there. The attacks were in response to the murder of at least 16 Indonesian road workers by West Papuan independence fighters in December 2018. The secret war on Australia's doorstep is escalating. Before independence, we will kill. We will fight, continue fight. No, no, no compromise. Foreign correspondent has obtained an exclusive interview with West Papuan independence leader Victor Yemo. He says the fight against Indonesian rule will not end until there's freedom. People of West Papua, for us it's better for us to fight before die for our dignity. Foreign media is banned, but we've obtained first-hand accounts of the violence from those who are determined to speak out. If we don't, we're going to be weaker and the indigenous people are going to be wiped out because they're killed and slaughtered like animals. The Indonesian government declined requests for an interview, but rejects claims of human rights abuses. Sally Sara, ABC News.